Across the continent, Russia advances its political and economic relationships with little regard to the rule of law or accountable and transparent governance. It continues to sell arms and energy in exchange for votes at the United Nations. China uses bribes, opaque agreements, and the strategic use of debt to hold states in Africa captive to Beijing's wishes and demands. Artis Murad Gazdiev delves deeper into this story. Disregarding that it reads more like a declaration of war than a strategy, this plan is for the good of Africa, promises John Bolton. This coming from a guy whose boss, Trump, infamously referred to several African nations as something that I can't mention on air. The predatory practices pursued by China and Russia stunt economic growth in Africa threaten the financial independence of African nations and pose a significant threat to U.S. national security interests. It's interesting logic. So when China or Russia or someone else you don't like lends an African nation money, that's debt colonialism, almost financial slavery. When America does it, it's investment for Africa's own good. Worth mentioning is that Russia's trade with the continent pales into insignificance when compared to the US or China. Look at this rail line, this highway, hydropower station, all built with Chinese investment. Beijing is raising entire cities with more to come. China is willing to provide another $60 billion in support of Africa through government assistance, investment and financing of financial institutions and enterprises. The phrase, actions speak louder than words, is entirely applicable here. The Chinese leader, Xi Jinping, has visited Africa nine times during his tenure. Trump once sent his wife. But what the United States might lack in tact, it more than makes up with guns. American troops are stationed in 50 out of 54 African nations. It has 34 military sites, thousands and thousands of soldiers across the entire continent, and a long history of military interventions. China has one base in Djibouti. Russia has none. American troops are there for Africans' own good, Washington would say. Speaking of which, you remember the whole Chinese and Russian money, bad American money, good thing? Well, it turns out, not so much. Our new foreign assistance strategy will ensure that all U.S. foreign aid in every corner of the globe advances U.S. interest. Countries that repeatedly vote against the United States in international forums or take actions counter to U.S. interest should not receive generous American foreign aid. John Bolton, ladies and gentlemen, man who unveiled America's new Africa plan. So much for financial independence. Africans, good luck. The Trump administration does not actually desire to help Africa develop. They see Africa as a pawn on their geopolitical chessboard, and therefore they want to use Africa against Russia and against China. Uh, China and Russia's policies, in particular China, with the new Silk Road, is not predatory. China is actually building massive infrastructure projects across the continent with the new Silk Road or the Belt and Road Initiative that are transforming the continent. So the real policy would be for the United States to join with China. Instead, we're following a very cynical uh, geopolitical strategy which has nothing to do with Africa and everything to do with the United States trying to maintain the upper hand against Russia and China. Uh, the only thing we'll do is we'll push people in Africa closer to working with other people.